So now the surface is uh, evened out and uh, I'm going to start with the coloring. And uh, making the color can be done in different ways. Uh, you can either mix a varnish that uh, uh, produces the color and uh, start varnishing the whole area. Uh, I have just done my last violin uh, made another uh, technique and uh, that is glazing and that is uh, when you look at a Strad um, violin uh, where the color is very intense and uh, full and then suddenly there is no color at all so there's a very sharp uh, and uh, uh, exact uh, edge of the color but there is no step uh, like uh, um, chip off effect from uh, uh, from the varnish uh, so that tells that the coloring uh, layer is ultra ultra thin and very very intense uh, and if you mix a varnish coat uh, that is supposed to be that intense it's impossible to have that intensity uh, and that very very thin layer so uh, one way to do it is to uh, apply the color just like straight from the tube and uh, I have two candidates here <coughs> uh, one uh, both are Rembrandts um, this one is uh, transparent oxide brown and this one is transparent oxide orange uh, so uh, of course mm, I mean this is more uh, brighter and uh, more like reddish this is somewhat darker and of course browner and uh, uh, oh I can show you what it turns out um, we can go with this brush this is I cut off the brush uh, hairs to uh, make it uh, so it can put on like that and we even it out. like that and um, as you understand this is very very thin layer put on some more so. like that and we take the brown on the other side And brown is very um, <laughs> I would go like this is very reddish brown boy got a lot here um, the upside of this is that you can go on and off as much as you like Um, and you see this is more like mature uh, color and this is more youth uh, 
younger color. Um, so uh, what we can do is, um, I don't know what I am going to do, uh, is I'm going to go for the brighter first and um, let it dry in the UV cabinet and then I can go over with the browner uh, if I like to sort of make it a little bit more mature and um, as I said you can go off and on here so we take all this away since that is not going to happen right now uh, the reason I go for the brighter one below is that as I see it uh, the lower layers are protected by the higher layers so uh, what we know or what is said about old uh, Italian violins is that uh, red was a very uh, desired color so they were like fire brigade red from the start maybe and uh, time has made it uh, fade away and go browner so um, this is what we are going to do uh, then uh, oh well I, I think I take that one away too it's uh, we come back here and start with the ribs it's just a habit uh, we put the cork back on this one see you later and um, uh, then another thing I started with is uh, either you can go and varnish the whole thing or you can uh, like make a oil painting out of it and uh, what do I mean by that? Well, uh, it's uh, some areas will be worn totally clean. Uh, I mean, this area here, down here, uh, it won't have any color at all. Uh, so, uh, different parts I will go with color and then I leave certain areas that I know is going to uh, come totally clean. Uh, so we start here by, well, up at the rib. Here I know like this. Then we smear it out a little bit. And uh, if there is some color coming in the wrong place, it's not end of the world, but uh, Try to not have any brush strokes in it. Um, it can be a guide to uh, uh, find the violin of your dreams uh, which you think is so beautiful in all its details and uh, have it as a uh, 
well, what do you say, a, a mold of uh, what to trying to achieve. This area just at the, where the rib meets the plates, it's um, very protected, so I, I go for the whole distance here. And uh, also around the end button. There is um, I put color everywhere. this. You see that? And uh, I'll go here. Seabots are also quite protected, so uh, they can have some extra color uh, compared to uh, the upper and lower ribs.
Uh, we are going to uh, chip off some varnish later and uh, it's important to uh, have the color going at least a little bit into where the wood is taking over the wood color. So uh, we uh, uh, we will not stop too early like here. It's uh, better you go a little bit too far up. And, uh, well, there's one spot, the edges, where I know there's not any, any color varnish.